Jenny forgot her phone in the Uber. Nice claps, Great everybody job. start clapping. Great job, Jenny. Yeah. So last weekend, July 30th and 31st, I was at Hard Summer Music Festival. <laughs> Hard Summer Music Festival in Southern California, Fontana Auto Club Raceway. It was really, really, really fun. Pretty much from all the articles I've read online and everything, everybody's kind of just bagging on the festival saying about how they weren't prepared and how everybody was just having a terrible time, which I honestly didn't even know about until I got back because I had a blast. It was this was my first like electronic music festival, so I didn't really know what to expect, but it was amazing. Like I got to see like all the artists that I've always been I've been listening to for the past few years, and it's really, really fun. Great experience. I highly recommend everybody if you're into electronic music, go to an electronic music festival. It is insane. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys about my festival experience because it was my first one, like I said, and I had a lot of great stuff. And I was filming the whole time. I was vlogging, but. Um, I did not know while I was vlogging that the G7X does not do well in bass heavy scenarios. <laughs> Especially ones where like the bass is so loud that you can feel your leg hair is like sticking straight up. <laughs> the number one thing I saw online is talking about like how hot it was and everything. It honestly wasn't even that hot. It's so hot. I'm pretty sure I was complaining about it a lot in my vlog and that would have been. <laughs> But it really wasn't too bad, like too, too, too hot. Dude, it is so hot. I thought it was gonna be like 100 and like really crazy. Like on, we were on pavement, so it was like reflecting off the pavement in your freaking eyes. But it wasn't that bad, honestly. It was pretty good. But they had like cooling stations and water everywhere for free. I'm dying of thirst. I'm gonna pass out. The lineup was amazing. Like there's everybody, like Dylan Francis, <laughs> Porter Robinson. <laughs> Maddion, Louis the Child, like Travis Scott, Slushy, like everybody, everybody was there. I mean, that's just like a few people. We had the squad, the four person squad Nicholas, Jenny, Jalen, and I. And it was a blast. I don't think we ever took a picture all together, but we I, ha I have a picture with Nicholas and Jenny. And I have a picture with Jalen and me. And yeah, that was, those are fun. My favorite shows from Hard Summer, um, it's really hard to pick. But number one, for sure, hands down, like, blew my mind was Porter Robson. The final performance on Sunday night. That was, like, so incredible. It was, he has the visuals and it kind of, like, tells, like, a whole story along with his music. And he performs live, so he has, like, a drum machine on there that he plays and he sings and just, like... It's crazy, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I honestly wasn't even, like, the biggest Porter Robinson fan before I went in to go into the festival. But after going to the festival, I'm, like, addicted to Porter Robinson. That was crazy. Like, I teared up. I teared up during the performance. Dylan Francis was amazing, really pump up. Uh, probably my second favorite, favorite performance was Louis the Child. They were awesome, like, chill vibe. And I'm actually seeing Louis the Child again in Hollywood at the Fonda Theater on December 10th. Uh, I think it's sold out, but if you happen to have bought a, bought a ticket, I'll see you there. Balcony General Admission. Some other great performances. Slushy. <laughs> Slushy was really good. He brought out Skrillex. That was awesome. The food is amazing. Oh my god, I forgot. Guess who I ran into when I was, I was just in line minding my own business, right, getting a smoothie. <laughs> Guess who was in line with me, behind me? I don't know if you're familiar, it's like a small like, Instagram guy uh, in Vine. There's a chap named Niels Visser. Niels is really cool. I actually called him by the wrong name. His name's not Neil Justice, it's Niels. Get your Instagram people straight, come on. But yeah, that was cool. I met him, said hi, I talked for a second. Like halfway through the performance of Dylan Francis, I don't have I don't have a video of all this stuff, but like I was just sitting there, my name of my home business, like listening, you know, getting pumped up Dylan Francis, you know, D Franz. And guess what happened? I was just sitting there and then some people were like, hey, let's just start a mosh pit exactly around Justice and put him exactly in the middle. So that happened, like I was just standing there and all of a sudden the people were just like moshing all around me. Mosh pits are not cool. That is not my thing. That is not how I get hyped up. That is just how I get annoyed and pissed off. So if you ever see me at a festival or concert, don't start a mosh pit around me, please. Thank you. 
And then these kind chaps that started the mosh pit after, around me, they stopped eventually, and then they decided to like lift this girl up to like make her like crowd surf or whatever. And then they just lifted her up and kind of threw her right at me. And then her like leg just like hit me in the head, and then my hat flew off. This exact hat, actually. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, it's because my hair is just. It's just. I haven't done it in like four days. And if you're wondering why I'm still wearing sunglasses, because like, I don't know. I think it just enhances my looks. Kidding. Um, anyways. Were any of you a hard summer? Did I not see any of you? Did any of you see me? I doubt it. Festival rating at the end, it was a great solid 8, 9 out of 10, one of those two. It was really fun, like really freaking awesome. I would definitely do again, probably next year. If you want to go, hit me up. I'm going to go to Coachella for sure, so if any of you are going to go to Coachella, I'll see you there. And also, some just, let's talk concerts for a second. The three concerts I plan on going to in the next year right now are Troy Savan when he's in LA you know, on October 10th, I believe. I'm gonna see him, I already bought tickets. And then I'm gonna go see Louis the Child again at the Fonda Theater in Hollywood on December 10th, be there. Oh, excuse me. And I'm gonna go to Coachella in April, so that's gonna be freaking awesome. So yes, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I, I forgot any really awesome clips, I'm just gonna show them right now, so like, hard summer. Yeah, play the music now. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, I'll have another video probably in the next few days because this one was so late that it's like already going to roll over for the next week. So yeah guys, I'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye. Ugh. Part Summer Music Fest. The uh, squad is all here. Started. Yep, and we are just walking around trying to find water. Oh, free water. Here we are. I can't even talk. It's so much bass. <laughs> $10 smoothie, definitely worth it. Get your fix today, man. Okay, let's try something different. It's like 20 miles between stages. Like, one stage is all the way over there, the other stage is all the way over there. So, we're trying to figure out our schedules, see where we're gonna go, see who we're gonna go see. Turning the hat backwards. It's getting real here, everybody. Now we have to wait for Nick and Jenny to get merch. I just bought a shirt, not this shirt, but get it. Oh, we got it. Gotta stay hydrated, guys. No passing out today. Oh, there she is. <laughs> guys, it was like literally a million degrees in there. I do not know. Oh, yeah, there he goes. I don't know. My hair is like anywhere near presentable. Base head to go see Slushy. That was. It's bloody wild in there, man. Bloody wild. Bloody wild. All right, we're gonna go see Bauer. One, two, three, go. Day one of success, Louis the Child. For Lewis the Child, best performance of the day for sure. Day two. Denny's had like a 10 hour wait, so we we're at like the Toll House Cafe. I don't know if you can see that. It smells like really bad here. Guys, we're just chilling on the grass. It's like incredibly hot. We don't really know what to do. Uh, we don't have any sets until like five-ish, it's like two. But it's nice here. Yeah, so we're just chilling. I don't, we don't really feel like doing anything because we just ate like the biggest breakfast of all time. So yeah, we're just listening. Listening to whoever's playing on the stage. Right now it's just a speaker and nobody's playing, so yeah. <laughs> Everybody's going to Porter, like literally everybody. I don't know who's gonna say for Major Lazer. We're 
we're sprinting. We're bar sprinting, right? Trying to get to the wall. Look at all these people. Holy crap. We got it. We out here right in the middle. We have the prime. Oh, wait. Wait. The prime viewing location for Porter Robson. It's gonna be super lit. My camera might die. In that case, let's switch over to the iPhone. We're good right now. It's lit. It's lit. Porter Robson. Here we go. Alright, now there's a few less people. Let me make sure I'm in focus. That was straight up the best performance I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, ever. Porter Robson, that was insane. Like, it makes you think, you know, like, the visuals of a show. I don't even know, I can't really explain it on camera. It's like, like um, everything, like, it's, it, it's not just a show, it's like emotional. Yeah, it's like emotional. Like, there's a story it to it, the visuals. It, like, it's, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know how much I filmed, but I, it was, like, hard to pick, like, it was hard to look at a screen because you didn't want to take your eyes off what was happening. Yeah. It was like so, you yeah. got so into it. It was, that was, it was insane. Amazing. That was like life changing performance, Porter Robson. By far, hands if you ever down. Have the chance to see him, yeah, if you ever have the chance to see him, see Porter Robson, the live performance.